What if I told you that Guild Wars 2 and VeggieTales have something in common? There's no way, right? There can't be. Well, VeggieTales has talking plant life, and so does Guild Wars 2. These are the Silvari or the salads, as the community affectionately refers to them as. The Silvari are a really unique race. They're the youngest of all the races, and they resemble plant life in humanoid form. Their anatomy is kind of weird, but for the most part, their body size and shape is similar to humans, just slightly shorter and a little slimmer. Their skin and flesh is made of tree bark. They've got flowers and leaves for hair. Their bones are made of solid, hard wood. Wood. They have no physical heart, but they have golden sap that flows through their bodies the same way that blood does in other races. Being literal plant life, Solvari can photosynthesize, but many of them prefer to eat and drink the same way any other race does. They're actually described as being omnivores, so <laughs> imagine that, a plant eating meat. <laughs> Solvari are born into the world in quite a unique way. It all starts with the pale tree which is a massive, magical, sentient tree that serves as the source of life for all Silvari. Many Silvari even refer to the Pale Tree as their mother. Each Silvari is grown in a pod on the Pale Tree, and when they're fully formed, they awaken and begin their life on Tyria. But before they awaken, they experience something called the Dream of Dreams. This dream is when the Pale Tree will show past experiences or memories to the new Solvari, whether they be from the Pale Tree herself or from any of her already awakened children. She also reminds them of the deeds of the two who helped her come to be, Ronan and Ventari. The two of them renounced violence and lived a life of peace and friendship in the area that would eventually become the Grove. But more importantly, they were the ones who planted the Pale Tree and nurtured her to grow. Before his death, Ventari inscribed a stone tablet with his seven philosophical teachings, which the Pale Tree would use as the code of ethics and morality for the Silvari. The Silvari are a very curious and outgoing race, and they're influenced by their experiences to seek out new thrills or find a greater purpose for themselves. But it's also this curiosity that gets them into trouble a lot. I can't count the amount of events I've seen where you have to go rescue a lost Silvari or search for a Silvari who's probably already dead. Well, with how young the race is, I guess they're still going through a bit of natural selection. Anyways, if you didn't know, now you know. <laughs>